Have you ever just chilled at home binge watching your favorite series and all of a sudden gotten a text from your friend asking about the Halloween party tonight that you didn't even know existed? Yeah? Then don't worry, because I'm going to show you easy Halloween costume ideas that you can make with stuff you might have already at home. They not only look super cool, but are also very easy to make. So here are 20 Halloween costume ideas. Men in Black so the man in black usually wear a suit, so I try to keep that formal look by wearing a tie and dressing in black and white. And of course I couldn't miss the sunglasses and the iconic MIBID, so I try to recreate it by taking a pic and putting my face on a template. And after printing it out and tying a string on it, this is how it turned out. So now you're ready to fight the aliens. Carrie To become Carrie, all you need is a pink dress and lots of fake blood. So I just let it run down my face and by the way, if you don't have fake blood, there are also some easy DIY recipes. So now also put some blood on your dress till it's almost covered and top everything off with a crown and some flowers. And you're done. Now you can scare little kids on the street. You're welcome. The pirate. For the pirate costume, you just need a white dress and a corset. But in case you don't have a corset, you can also use some belts instead. Then I took this blouse and tied it around my head to make it look like a headband. I also tied some small hoops in my hair and to finish off this look I made some fake scars by using some eyeshadow and concealer on top. And that's how the finished pirate look turned out. Kate Langdon Kate wears black clothes and a long leather jacket so I did a girl version of his fit with a dress. By far the most challenging part of this costume is the skeleton makeup. So I try to recreate it as close as I can. Just take your time with it and if you need any help, there are also great tutorials you can watch on YouTube. In the end it turned out like this and by the way, this is your sign to watch American Horror Stories if you haven't done so yet. Barbie I think the Barbie look is pretty self-explanatory. Just put on various clothes in the shades of pink and also add pink necklaces, pink earrings, pink makeup, just everything needs to be pink. And if you have a boyfriend or a friend, they can go as the iconic Ken or Raquel. A vampire. Here are some inspo pics for the vampire costume. So as you can see, you just need any black or dark red clothes. Now I'm showing you how to make DIY fangs in case you don't have any. You just need white nails and adhesive cream for your teeth. First take a nail and file it so it would fit on your teeth. Then take the cream and put some on the top so you can stick them on your gum. And you're done! I also painted a bit of blood and the finished costume looks like this. Freddy Krueger For Freddy's costume you need a striped shirt, but in case you don't have one, I'll show you how to make it yourself. So all you need is a green and a red shirt and some pins. Now cut both shirts into stripes and pin them together so it creates a new shirt. Mine turned out like this. I also cut some longer pieces from my arms, legs and a small piece I tied around my waist. Then I painted some cuts on my face and all over my body to make it look a bit more scarier and added these claws I made out of paper. And the look is complete. Jennifer's body. I'm recreating this look of hers, but there are also many other iconic outfits that you can do instead, like the cheerleader one or the one with the white dress. Then I put some styling cream in my hair to give it a wet look and added some blood dripping from my mouth all the way to my neck. Next also cover the jacket with lots of blood splatters and you're done. Little Red Riding Hood you can make this costume in many different ways, for example with a black dress or a corset, just make sure you wear a red cape. I also added these wolf scratches all over my face with some eyeshadow and red lipstick. With that the look is complete and this costume is also perfect for matching with your friend who can do a cute wolf outfit. A fairy To become a fairy you basically just need a dress. It can be white, black or any other color like I did here. And if you want to, you can also make some DIY fairy wings by forming some thread into a wing shape, putting foil on it and securing it with a hairdryer. 
but if that's too much work for you, you can also just make some simple fairy ears by putting tape on your ear and painting it with concealer. And this is how the fairy look turned out. Queen of Hearts for the Queen of Hearts costume, I just took some inspiration from the game card, which is mainly red and white. And of course, a queen also needs a crown, so I crafted one by printing out some cards, folding them to these little triangles and sticking them together. This is how the crown turned out and next I just drew some hearts on my face and just like that the heart queen is done. And by the way, a friend can do the mad hatter, white queen or the rabbit for a cute matching costume. Princess Diaries The Princess Diaries look is pretty simple. You just need a white dress, but you can also do it with a corset like me here. Then tie your hair into a bun and after adding some jewelry, a crown, sunglasses and headphones, the outfit is complete. Patrick Bateman so I'm making a girl version of Patrick Bateman from the movie Psycho, but you can also do this look with a suit or some pants. As long as you have a raincoat and an X, it should be pretty noticeable who you are. I also put some styling cream in my hair, some wounds and blood splatters to make it look like I was in a fight. So now you can listen to your favorite songs with your earphones and hate on your workmates. Lara Croft so these are the pics I used as a reference for the Lara Croft costume. So I put on a green shirt and some shorts. I also wanted to recreate these straps, so I cut out a thin piece of an old shirt and tied them around my body. In case you don't have a fake gun like me, you can also just make one out of cardboard by cutting out two gun shapes and hot gluing them together. Then paint it black and it's done. I put the gun between the band and my leg, so it looks like this. Then I took this white band and tied it around my arm. After painting some wounds and braiding my hair, the look is complete. The Weekend To become The Weekend, you need black clothes and a red blazer. But in case you don't have a blazer, you can also just put on a red shirt. Then I'm recreating his look here, so I put a band-aid on my nose and some wounds. And with that, you can be blinded by the lights. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Black Swan For the Black Swan costume, you need a black corset and a puffy skirt. I also tried to recreate the hair and added some jewelry I thought might fit this look. And by the way, if you like the movie Black Swan, I recommend the anime it's based off called Perfect Blue. Its main character Mima is, by the way, also a great Halloween costume idea. A Siren I chose to do a dark siren look and inspired by these pics, I put on dark clothes and on top of that some pearls. I bought this long pearl chain and tied them together so I can hang them around my body. After a couple more pearls, it looks like this. Then I put lots of styling cream in my hair to get this wet look and made some fish scales by putting this net I got from a potato packaging on my face. I also painted some fish gills and with that the look is complete. Wednesday. So because Wednesday has many different looks, you can dress however you like as long as it's black and white and looks a bit formal. I just put on this dress with a tie and of course I braided my hair into her iconic pigtails and added some black eyeshadow under my eyes to get that tired and bored look that she has. And that's the finished costume. Violet Burgard. Violet has a blue tracksuit on and inspired by that you basically just need some blue clothes. Then paint your nose blue with some eyeshadow. In case you don't have a short bob like she does, you can cut out a thin piece of an old shirt, then tie your hair on the bottom and bring it to the top to make your hair seem shorter. Now the only thing left to do is to grab some bubble gum and you're done. A devil. So a devil costume is pretty easy to do. You just need to wear something red, so I chose this red corset and then I put on some jewelry and front my hair into two devil horns by taking a piece and twisting it so it creates this bun. Then I wrapped some hair around it so it looks like this. And after using some red eyeshadow and some lipstick, the devil look is complete. So that's the end of the video, I hope I could inspire you with one or two outfits and by the way, me and my friends made a Halloween themed song called Backyard, so go listen to it, it would mean a lot to us. 
that's all. See you in the next video. I want to see your face.